everyone, it's Jan here. Welcome to my channel. I will be showing you a painting that I did in Sarah Taylor's class at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas in July. Right now I'm just showing you the consistency of the paints that we were giving, uh, given by, by Sarah for this first attempt. Um, these were the cards that we were given. I'm sorry, I do not remember what the colors were. Uh, pink and a magenta and I think a paint's gray. And I'm just showing you the consistency. I will put the uh, recipe in the description below. This is one of Sarah's recipes. But as you can see, the consistency is pretty thin, which is very exciting to um, finally uh, learn a little from Sarah um, about the consistencies of her paints. And um, as you all know, she is an absolutely incredible artist and uh, it was really great to 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 get some uh, advice from her and uh, learn to do some of her techniques um right now i'm i'm just putting out the base coat which is the white pearl base coat um again i'll put the uh, recipe in the description and um yeah then once you've put down the the base coat you just add the the pearl puddle paints um Sarah likes to do it in the form of an S, or I did an, another one uh, after this one. I'll, I'll post that in a few days, where I did it more in a different, I guess it was like an N, but yeah, kind of the same movement. Um, but you just add the puddle, pearl, uh, puddle um, pearl puddle, so I, I can't talk. Um, and um, then... Sarah advised us that we went from light to dark, so that's what I tried. Um, as you will see in a little bit, I was not too pleased with the result. I should also say that I, even though we had the recipe um, in front of us, I think that I might have mixed it a little bit wrong. Um, using the wrong amount of, uh, especially the part with the um, sand enamel in it, because uh, it clearly took over, as you will see at the end of this painting. Um, so it was kind of got, got eaten by the white. Still a pretty cool effect, but some people that, some of my friends have seen it and they really like it. So not too sad about it, but it, it, uh, it took over a little more than I would have liked. But as you see, I just uh, tilted it and you can see the, the pearls are already starting to form. And um, yeah, it um, again, it, it, they formed a little too much for my liking. So um, I haven't tried it yet here at home after I got back. Um, but I will definitely try it out because I love some of the, well, everything that Sarah makes, <laughs> really. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try it out. But um, as you can see, I'm just sitting here looking at how it develops and um, I'm not really liking the composition. I'm not really liking the way that the pearls uh, form. Um so after some consideration i'm trying to start playing with my palette knife see if i can create some interesting effects in it the, the composition is just not speaking to me so i actually decided to scrape it which you will see that i start over in a few seconds and um, then try again so Put down the base coat um, and then uh, put in the pearls, uh, pearl puddles. And um, yeah, sorry that I'm a little bit out of. Well, you can still see the puddles, so that's at least something. But yeah, it was a great experience, like I said. I learned a lot. Uh, thank you, Sarah, so much for. Um, for showing me your amazing skills and uh, giving me some very good advice. Um, 
I made a, an awesome painting in Sarah's last class. Unfortunately, I forgot to take to record it, so I cannot show you guys how I actually made it. This was something very different with very very thin paints and but it came out amazingly. Uh, this one, uh, the composition, um, I like this better than the first one th that I scraped. And as you will see, I am now beginning to uh, play with uh, the palette knife. I'm pulling um, 24K, Decoart 24K gold through the painting. This uh, is just mixed with, as I put on the screen there, Floetrol Gag 800 and Liquitex Pouring Medium, a little thicker than uh, the, the puddle paints. Uh, but what it does is it actually pulls up the colors from underneath and creates an amazing effect. I really love it. So that is something that, that yeah you can play with after. And it, it was really, really interesting to learn. This video is already over, so <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. And um, I hope that you'll come back for my next one. I created another one. Um, in the same class, using some different colors, and uh, I will be posting that shortly. Um, at the end of this, you will have seen the dried result. It didn't quite come out the way that I liked it, uh, would, would have liked it, but like I said, some of my friends really like this one, so yeah, it's something for everyone. I hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for joining me, and uh, you have a great day. Bye!